he just managed to get through it. So now they're inside the room. It's cold, it's chill, it's smelly with these rotting carcasses inside. A careful inspection, coupled with successful wisdom check, finds the barbs. They can't be noticed otherwise. When the kobolds use the stairway, they bring a ruined spear that's kept in before. With it, they sweep the leather straps to the left side of the corridor and wedge the end of the spear into the... Ah, okay. We did not notice that. But there's nothing in this room, but it's a perfect chance for them to rest. There is nothing here, but it's quiet and they can relax and heal up. So let's see, how do we get our party back to back to some good health here? Do we have any potions? Does not look like we have any potions at all. Okay, so that means... Uh, I think the party is going to take a... Well, how, how... What is the party? Boris is half, Catherine is half, Mara is way down. Uh, everybody is pretty hurt. They're going to take a short rest, I think, is the best thing to do. Can I do that? Rest... Short rest. All right, party took a short rest, so they all can roll their dice. Boris will roll his hit dice. Nine, very good. I think he'll call that good. Cat will roll her last one. Five, very nice. Mara's going to have to roll a couple. There we go, I had to use all of them. And Rex will roll one. Nine, there we go, okay. Besides being out of hit dice, the party is mostly recovered after their short rest. Um, they... go left after that. They... carefully... leave the, ca the room because of the trap and head another direction. Take a short rest. There we go. Take a short rest. Got it. Boom. Okay, so now they're going to move across to here. Rex leading the way, as he always does. Catherine not following too close, because she can't see, right? Catherine is the only one in our party who doesn't have night vision. So, the next room they come to is room... is a Drake nursery. Oh, great. Fight some of those. And there's an E in there, not a U. Drake nursery, there we go. Okay. The short, wide passage between areas 4 and 7, so the lair and the nursery, is trapped... See spike trap for details. A simple oil lamps provide dim, flickering light. The chamber contains four kobolds and one wing kobold. These creatures are in the upper part of the chamber, up here. Okay. Encounter Drake Nursery. The lower area is where the cultists conduct the rituals to create their guard drakes and then house the creatures. The ledge is a sharp 10 foot drop. Oh, down. It's down into there. Okay, so the kobolds are up here. So maybe we shouldn't enter the room quite yet. Bora should be in front, not Mara. There we go. Um, a stout cage made of iron bars surrounds these steps. Ah, I see. That's the bars. The height of 10 feet to prevent untrained drakes from escaping up the steps. Keys hang on the peg near the top. A track along the southwest wall holds implements used to train. The lower area is heavily shadowed. Currently it holds three drakes. Uh, 
but not quite fully developed. They have the normal stats of a guard drake, but only 33 hit points. Uh, spotting the drakes from the ledge requires a perception check. If the drakes are spotted and attacked by the creatures, the characters on the ledge, they set a howl and draw six and th kobolds and three from area eight, the, the barracks. Okay. Spike trap. This is what we've been looking for. A portion of the floor between is replaced with a sheet of parchment cleverly painted to resemble the surrounding stone. It can be spotted using a DC 15 wisdom check. So our party, passive perception, Catherine's is high enough, but let's roll a perception check anyway. The DC of a oh, 15. Okay, well, she's probably fine. Mara succeeds and Catherine succeeds. Yeah, so they spot it. Oops. I got rid of it. Uh, they spot it. Or oh, oh, someone who has systematically trapped the floor ahead with a pole or other tool. Oh, tapping. Uh, beneath the parchment sheet is a shallow pit. Hey, Just, how you doing? Nice to see you. Our party isn't dead yet. Each time the character moves between the sin, they roll a DT10, but we've spotted it. I think we're fine. How much damage does this do? 1d4. That's not bad. Okay, so now there is some kobolds. So what they need to do is we should put them in here so we can see them on the map. There we go. There's some kobolds. And they are visible to the party. So I think this is another encounter. The drakes are in the pit, and they can't get out unless we go in for them, so I think we're fine. Um, oops, that's right, we need to drag our encounter to our party sheet. There we go. Well, we should award that one, but we'll do it after this. There we go. Um, the drakes are spotted and attacked by characters on the ledge. At least one of these try to get past the ch characters and unlock the gate at the bottom of the steps and the guard right up the battle train to do. Um, okay, well, they're not going to see them. They're going to see these guys first. So we have this combat to run. So menu, initiative, roll initiative. Oh my word, they rolled so poorly again. So our party just needs to... Like, stop rolling horribly, and they'd have a decent chance at not dying. That's, but that's true of almost every party, of course. So, the, where are we? There we go. Drake 2 is in the pit. They're not part of the fight. Kobold number 2 manages to see them. Were there many different rooms looked at? Yeah, so they've made it all the way. We've been all the way through these, just through here, down into here. And now we're back, back up into here. We're going to go through here. We're about halfway through, probably. So, um, yeah, we've, we've, we have like one two, three, four. We've got four rooms left and we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we've, we're more than halfway through, so. Party is barely hanging in there. Okay, so back to our... So I don't want to rotate you. Back to our encounter. Cobalt number two does have a sling, but he... But Rex is unfortunately right up front. Yeah, they went into the meat locker. They got hit by the hooks going in for only two points of damage. So not that bad. 
but they rushed in to avoid the bats in the other room and didn't carefully go through it. So Rex, unfortunately, is leading. He gets jumped by the first kobold. So uh, the dagger attack. Thankfully, he misses kobold number four. You're pretty far back there. I think you're going to your best job. Oh, one of them goes for the door to get the drakes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to get the drakes. That's his job. Oh, he's going he's gonna to double move to get down there. Cobalt number one is back here. He is going to target Boris. And sling attack. Eight, thankfully, misses. Catherine is kind of stuck behind some people here. Um, luckily, she doesn't need too much movement. Ooh, so, to get back up in here. Here we go. So, she... No, not even targeting Rex. You're targeting the Cobalt. The mace attack. That's a nice hit. Kill it. Kill it. Yes! Don't let those kobolds get a chance. They're doing better this time. Kobold number three. I need to move this over a little bit. Number three is going to rush in and get at Catherine. Dagger attack. One! Haha! <laughs> Not fail. I think the funny thing, like it's a, it's a bit of comic, like relief in this this battle because the you know party is not doing too well, and the cobalt goes to stab, and he forgot to dr draw his dagger, so his hand is like empty. <laughs> so he like makes contact with like the si uh, Catherine's side, but there's nothing there, and he's like, huh, huh, looks at it, so. I like that. So, uh, Kobold encounter. Kobold fails to draw his dagger before attacking and miss it and does no damage. And that's pretty good. Um, okay. Drakes are restless. They hear this guy coming down. He's gonna move over here. So, Boris gonna just square this guy up and hopefully not let them get pack tactics and just drop him. Yes, there we go. We're, we're getting better at this game. Rex Oh, has his rapier out because he hasn't really had a chance to use his bow. Um, so I think he's going to step up. He's way better with his bow, but... Just the way the fight is going, he's going to use... Oh, his rapier misses. The handle comes out, but not the blade. Oh, that's that's great. No, because that means his like dagger is broken for the whole fight. Just forgetting it means he can. Well, he's dead now, but I like I like that. Yeah, I like that even better. Uh, the hand he draws, it breaks. And only the handle. Uh, only handle is drawn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, if he had to fight again, it would be a little bit hard to do. Oops, that's not what I need. But the fact that he... The fact that he's dead means we can kind of redcon a little bit. I fails to draw his dagger for attacking. Oh, it breaks. 
its dagger and only the handle is drawn he does no damage like he's so he's such a hurry to get it out he just like snaps it yeah he's he's dead we can we can do it i like that he like grabs the handle and snaps the blade off as he tries to draw it <laughs> so that's pretty good Okay, so Rex misses. Rex has some extra abilities. Let's make sure we don't forget what they are. Extra movement. Yeah, but then Hunter's Mark, he doesn't really have any spell slots to use, so... I hope the party gets to make it to the most dangerous rooms. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. That's probably where they're going to die, <laughs> to be honest. Drake. I'm going to move in. Mara is going to cast... Uh, I'm going to have Mara just because the PC, uh, actual PC might think this. Where is that kobold going? He's going to unlock something. I want Mara to make a wisdom skill, an insight check. She only has plus one, but I think she's going to be like, insight check. Oops, that's not what I want. This button. Nope, natural one. Doesn't think he's going anywhere. Thinks he's afraid. Thinks he's running away. She is going to attack instead the winged kobold with her Eldritch Blast, hitting it, doing lots of damage and killing it. There we go. Wing Cobalt is dead. Drake, number two, moving up. You are unconscious. Cobalt will spend the turn opening the gate. Now the drakes can rush out. Um, kobold number one uh, knows that the drakes are going to come and decides to get involved. I think he's just going to still hide around the corner shooting at not Boris, but Rex now that he's the most likely target. Hit. Oh, of course you hit Rex. Oh, only one point. That's not that big of a deal. No worries, no worries. Um, that's that guy's turn. Catherine... is probably going to go down the stairs. Um, I think she is going to make... I think she is going to make a check as well. Uh, a, no, on, on skills. Um, a perception check, maybe? Yeah, 12. I think she's smart enough not to go into the pit. So she's going to hold her, stand at the top, hold her action. You are dead. Drake number one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Rush up. You are going to multi-attack. Oh god, they have multi-attack. First, Catherine is going to target you with her held action. Hit you with a mace. There we go. Nice hit. Lots of damage. Heavily wounded. There we go. Actually, they have 33 HP. That's nothing. She's going to have a lot of trouble with this one. Multi-attack. Oh, is there multi-attack once with each? Yeah, one tail, one bite. So attack, miss, attack, miss. Oh, thank you. Boris is going to come up and get in, into the fight himself. Nineteen. That's a crit. Because he has the the bonus crit. 
So that means he gets to roll his damage twice. There we go. Only 12 points of damage, that's it? Oh, but we got a crit. I still don't have a crit emote. This is what we're using for a crit emote. We're using bop. The best I can do, guys. <laughs> best we can do oh Clark Hart has his sand bat emote <laughs> cool I see it in my list bop there's our crit still doesn't do nearly enough damage to this guy at all Rex is going to draw his bow try to figure finish off this annoying kobold Uh, with those drakes coming It's really small. It's kind of hard to see But it is at sand bat Yeah That's pretty cool, um, he's going to shoot Please hit yes damage there we go, and instantly drops the sucker around the corner. He's peeping his head out. Are they dead? And then, boom, arrow straight in the forehead. There's a cool thing you can do here if space gets too tight, because kobolds are small and drakes are medium, they can climb up and ride them into battle. Oh! That is a cool thing. Oh, that's a nice dragon emote. What is that, Twitch RPG? Huh? There's an RPG? Ah, okay, so that's what that's so this kobold number four just is going to ride the last drake out of the pit uh, I like that idea uh, Rex kills him drake number three's turn 5 10 15 20 25 30 he doesn't have enough to get up so he's gonna He's going to double move to get into range. But that's his actions. Mara is going to see this thing come up the stairs and blast it. Yeah, yeah, she hit. Damage. There we go. Good hit. 11 points. Third of its HP in one hit. It's a big target, easy to hit. Here comes the last one. These guys are going to be together then, so five. He can get into here without having to, and the kobold is going to be on top of him for yeah, effects, but it makes it hard to do that. So the drake can get to Boris, so the drake will target Boris and do a bite attack. Nope, miss by one. Oh! Boris crits the drake, but it gets critted back in return. Oh no. Oh, luckily it was the tail. The tail is the weaker of the damage dealers. Eh, nine points. That ain't bad. Average. Straight up average. Uh, Cobalt 4 is going to stab at him. Oh, he has pack tactics too. Because he's right on the back of the drake. He's with an ally, so he gets advantage. Dagger attack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> two 20s in a row. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disaster. Disaster, guys. Disaster. Not like this. Not like this. F's in chat. Bye-bye, Boris. Um, that stupid advantage. It's only 2d4. <laughs> but... Oh, he's yeah. Boris took massive hits. I think we need to record that in our log. Here we go. Um, takes damage. Um, they make quick work of most of the kobolds. Kobolds. But then drakes are released, 
and they are attacked. Boris gets critted. Is there two T's in critted? By both the Drake, both a Drake, and the Kobold writing it. Ouch. Just the force of this animal coming at Boris is enough to just push aside his shield and then he's wide open and the full weight just just kind of leverages the weapons into him. Cobalt number one is dead. Catherine is... How badly hurt is Boris? He may not survive another hit. Um, I think Catherine is going to be... A, she's not... Uh, she's not in the chaos of bats swarming her. Just because of how scary this dungeon is, I had a rule that the drakes can't multi-attack the same target. Oh, uh, yeah, because they do have to use their bite and their tail. They can't use two bites. So, that's a good idea. Um, she is going to use Cure Wounds. Uh, he has tw 18 d8. Yeah, she can use this at level 2. So hold, right click, roll the dice. Ooh, 20. Perfect. Back to full health, Boris. There we go, Catherine, but she uses that as her action. This Drake, of course, is going to... Attack, hit... Catherine for four, tail, 19, oh god, five. So Catherine manages to heal Boris by reaching out to him, but in doing so, she leaves herself wide open for a double attack from the Drake. She takes some pretty net. she has three health points left, oh god. Boris, kill some stuff. Boris needs to finish off the one that's damaged. That's not Boris. That's Boris. Battle Axe. Oh, a natural one. Oh, two crits against him and then a natural one. He He's suffering from that. He's really suffering from that, uh, those crits. Cat heals him but leaves herself open. Taking lots of damage. Boris is also uh, off balance from the hit and misses wide. No, no. Okay, Boris. Oh, he has he has action action surge. He's going to use it. He's going to try to get another f hit in. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. He rolled two nat ones back to back. F's in chat, please. Please. It's over. Bye bye. What? It can't get any worse than that. They make quick work of- oh, sorry, did I have a typo? They make quick work of the- oh, yeah, of the- Sorry, thank you, Lux. F's in chat. Oh man, the party just swinging, missing everywhere. Rex is going to fall back a little. Give himself a chance to do some damage. Oh, no, I wanted to use Hunter's Mark. So he is going to do Hunter's Mark on it, but he misses anyways, right? Boris, Rex, Attack, Longbow, 12, miss... What's their AC? 14, ouch. Okay, so he's got that extra damage. But this Drake is going to come after Boris again, probably. 
Or Mara's right there wide open. I think he's gonna go... Oh, she'll drop so fast though. We'll let the tanks be tanks. They're beasts, they're not smart, they attack the first thing they see in front of them. Attack... That's a miss. Oh my god, another hit. Oh, he's full health, he's, he's fine, he's fine. It's Cat we have to worry about. Mara... Please do some damage. She has spells, that's right. We need to think about a bit. She, these people are suffering. She needs to use a big spell. Crown of Madness. It's a humanoid. Uh, while the target is charmed by the crown, the dragon head to madness goes. Must use action before action to take a melee attack against you other than itself that you mentally choose. Oh, I think she want. Does she want to use a spell slot to do Crown of Madness? I think we do. Let's bust out some Crown of Madness. So she is going to target because it has to be a humanoid. Is a Cobalt a humanoid? If not, she can't use it. What is a Cobalt? It's a creature. Yeah, small humanoid. Perfect. So she is going to cast Crown of Madness. 17. Oh, he saves! Are you kidding me? Saving throw or be charmed. And he's, he made the saving throw. He rolled a 17 with a minus 2. He still succeeded. And her DC is not 10. It's still messed up. Because I don't think, but it's a 15 any, any, either way, like, see, I don't understand, this is not correct. Save is wisdom, save. But her, her pact magic means her spell casting is charisma, not wisdom. So it should be 8 plus ability charisma. There we go. Proficiency bonus. So 8 plus. Hang on, what was it again? 8 plus proficiency to 2 is 10, plus charisma is 15. Oh, it's 15, and he rolled a 15, which means he does save. Oh my god, that's a massive roll. Just tries to drive this creature mad, and it just does no. Doesn't pay her any mind. That's a that's a whole waste of a turn. Uh, Boris is going to be attacked. Miss, please miss, please miss. Thank you, double eights. There we go. Cobalt with pack tactics has advantage. His dagger. Nineteen. Almost rolled another twenty again. Good God. There we go. It's not smart enough to go crazy. <laughs> no, what, I th what Rahoric, he's already crazy. That's the thing. Like, he's a crazy cultist kobold. He can't be any crazier than that. Doesn't do anything. Uh, Drake, oh no, it's Cat. Oh wait. We skipped Catherine's turn. I was like, there's no way he got to go again. Thankfully, she can use Healing Word, because she is so badly damaged, on herself. That's pretty good roll. 16. Oh, it did it to Boris. Crap. Uh, how much health did he have? I can't go back. Uh... She has three. He had five. The Drake double missed, but the Drake before hit him. Nine, so he had 14. 
There we go. It's about the best. One thing I wish you could do was if you made a mistake in this, you could do undo. If there is an undo button, please tell me, because I've done that so many times where the target wasn't correct or something. And I can't figure out a way to undo something, but she, she heals herself up only to be attacked, which seems to hit. Yes. Luckily only two. And miss, thank you. Boris is fighting Drake number one. Please don't miss again, Boris. No, didn't crit, but did crap damage though. Uh, Rex is going to shoot another arrow. Rex, please don't miss. You're almost out of arrows. There we go. That's a hit. With the extra dice, he rolled a one on it. And he does it! It's enough to kill it! There we go, we got one of them down. One Drake is dead. Uh, this guy, who's number three? Oh, you. Seventeen. Three, good, only one attack hits. Basically, my argument why Godzilla wins against Cthulhu is in a, in a fight, Godzilla is used, is used to not being able to fat to fathom things and her tiny little lizard brain just want to f just wants to fight yeah they're just too too stupid to really be driven crazy yeah you're already being crazy makes sense you merely wanted me to adopt the crazy but i was born in it <laughs> nice is godzilla technically a she I don't think I've ever seen a Godzilla movie. So Mara, pissed off that her little spell didn't work, goes back to just blasting the sucker. There we go. There we go. Just blast him right off his seat. Uh, more fighting, but Rex and Mara's ranged attacks kill a Drake and unseat seat the Kobold on top of another Drake. There we go. Well, there is a son of Godzilla, so... Oh, okay. Technically, it should be a she. Well, I mean, a he could be... Men have sons, too. But... There has to be at least two Godzillas, maybe. Right? For there to be a son. Mara's turn is done. Drake number two. Uh, You're not wounded at all. Um, I think you're going to move in and take Cat's responsibility. Hit. Hit? Two hits? Oh, good god. No, she's still up. She can use all her spell slots just keeping herself up. Uh, yeah, there are debates as... A kid at one point has a kid at one point, so you could just reproduce it actually and be a they or he or something like that. I'm a strong, independent lizard woman, though. <laughs> yeah, is that the side you're on, Rory? Uh, yeah, but no, females are usually primary caregivers and no dad presents and no dad pre present makes sense agree oh okay i know there's like tons of uh godzilla like there's a really old godzilla and then there's like all the more modern ones and the different storylines and all this stuff and i don't yeah beyond beyond me 
You are dead, thank you. Cat has to use her spell slot just to keep herself alive. That's a really good roll, a d8 on an 8. Perfect, 13 points. Oh, I did it to Boris again! Luckily we can just add 13. 6 is 19. She goes minus 13. Oops. 19 is 6, so she's at 6. Drake is dead, thank you. Boris needs a new target. He is going to tar- is that something I need to do? He's going to target the one already wounded, use a battle axe, hit it, do lots of good damage. Rex is going to move. Yeah, we can kill this thing before it comes up in the turn order. Uh, move his hunter's mark to old school Godzilla for me. It's basically never mattered, so it's not a big deal to me if it's just wrong or right. Yeah, I think Godzilla just being a big monster that asexually reproduces makes sense. A lot of fantasy, like the evil creatures and things like, how do they reproduce? Uh, we don't really talk about it. They're just there, and we kill them, <laughs> right? Like, if they're humanoid, we kind of have an idea they're humanoid, so they probably like humans, how they reproduce. But, like, slimes, they're just always made, or, I don't know, some other weird creatures are like, how do they nearly do it? Yeah, exactly, Rohoric. It's not narratively relevant, really. They're there, they're killing people, kill them, they're done, who cares where they came from. Unless your party is like, we want to go hunt their lair or their nest or something, then it matters, but <laughs> most of the time it doesn't matter too much. Um, Hunter's Mark... So now he's going to attack 13. That's a good hit. Please roll lots of hit dice. There we go. Killed it. It doesn't get a turn. It just dies. Mara will move to get a little bit of better shot. And then uh, where is our targeting? She will use Eldritch Blast. Hit. Just plus five to hit. That's pretty good. Wounds him. This guy still has like almost his full HP. Yeah, just put eggs. Whatever. Or just say there's baby versions and give them half HP and don't explain where they come from. <laughs> right. Boris is up. He's going to hit this guy. 17. He got one crit in this week. There we go. It did not apply the damage. Why? Oh, Boris is in here twice. What? That's what is going on. Why is he in here twice? Maybe that's why. Things are all messed up. I didn't even notice that. There were so many things in the thing, in the combat tracker. This game sometimes does little finicky things and I'm not sure why. Still learning how to use it, I guess. That's what it is. Uh, Drake's turn. Now I think we'll split up the attacks. One to Cat. One to Boris. Oh, we should have done the damage because it hit. She did, he did hit. She does damage. Clear. Attacks Boris with the tail. Misses. Go. Catherine's turn. What does she do? Does she heal? She only has 4 HP. Like... 
I think she just starts to fight this thing, because there's not a whole lot she can do. Oh, there we go! There we go, our cleric in the clutch. But Lux, yes, I love Fantasy Grounds overall. 99.9% .9 would recommend for sure. Um, I like it way more than Roll20, and I love the fact that I don't have to subscribe to anything, that I can just buy it. And I bought it on sale, too. There we go. Roll that damage. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> An extra one point of damage. That's still something. <clears throat> now wait, Boris has... He has the... Second Wind, right? After a short rest... Bonus action to regain hit points equal to... Your fighter level plus 1d10. So he's going to use that. Because why not? So 7 plus 3 is 10, so he gains, he's at 9, that's his bonus action, he's used it. We need to put that in his power so I can see it. Um, uh, critical fighting style protection, oh that's right we've totally forgot about that, he has protection. Within five feet of checks, they get disadvantage. God, oh, I f screwed that up because who knows how many hits we would have been able to. I think that's... I don't know if I want to use that because I'm never going to remember it. I think we want to switch him to dueling. Because I just will never remember that at all. So his we can give him extra to damage. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. This button. He gets a bonus plus two to damage rolls. There we go. Um, I'm never going to remember that. And just for my own sanity's sake, I'm going to say he's never used it, because we've never used it. <laughs> so, uh, Battle Axe... Nah, one. Boris, my friend, against these drakes... You know what it is? How, t how big are drakes? They're medium, right? I guess they are pretty big. Never mind. Um, he just sucks can't hit anything. Ever since he got critted, it's just screwed his head up. He got stabbed twice really hard, lots of damage, has never mentally recovered from it at least. Uh, you're gonna move your Hunter's Mark. You were going to shoot an arrow and miss. Thank you. Mara is going to Aldrich Blast. 20! Another crit. Another crit. There we go. Three crits versus two crits. We're, do we're doing this. This is the most crits we've had in a session. Oh! And her damage was double tens! Did you see that? She rolled her extra dice was... Oh no, she rolled a... What? She rolled a 9 plus... There was 3 dice on screen. What happened? I saw two tens, but it only actually recorded... It gave her advantage on something. So she rolled two tens, but it gave her advantage... Interesting, okay. Anyways, that'll kill that drake. Woo! We, we out of this fight, boys. But, but Catherine is badly wounded. Does she have any spells left? She has one spell slot left. She is going to use Healing Word on herself. Level 1. 
12 points. So she's at 5. I don't have to do it. They use a lot. They use spells, they use everything. Oh, the fight is brutal. It takes a lot of energy to kill the the eat the even partially trained drakes. Flanking. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Like, am I using flanking or is she? I get. I mean, oh, does it automatically calculate that for me? It shouldn't, because I don't know if I have it even turned on. So, but. Okay, so, uh, train drakes, they use all spell slots, almost all the spell slots. Almost all the spell slots to fight, and, I mean, they're not bad off, they're okay. I think so, oh, um, it might be in a setting, like one of these. Skip hidden actor show effects stop at round start. Color standard allies wound category simple detailed something like that. I don't know. It might be near somewhere. Crit tables if we want to use them. Roll initiative at each round. Emphasis hit points. Crit. Auto roll deaths on crit emphasis hit points. It might be in there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Ugh. Okay, um, what do you guys think? Is this is this the kind of encounter where they can just like walk back outside and take a long rest? Or because they've slaughtered their way through like 75% of this cave, there's no way the enemy is going to let them just leave and sit outside, or? What do you think? Let's do a poll! New poll. Um, can the party take a long rest? Yes. No. So. Um, no, the module doesn't say anything about rests. Which is the bad thing about it. But the people who are in the cave are there to protect the hatchlings. The eggs, right? They're not there to go anywhere else. They're the ones left behind, right? Their job is to stay and guard this place. They could come out and attack the party. That's a good that's one thing they could do. So that might be an option, yes, but they have to roll to see if they get attacked in the night. Um, what's left in the cave is the kobold. Oh god, that's a massive kobold encounter. A massive kobold encounter in the barracks. An encounter with the cultist and the dragon champion. Yeah, there's no way they can that arrest they can kill all this stuff. They're gonna they're gonna just run out of spells and hit points. Cause all the bad guys are hiding back in here. Like Cyan Wrath and Berserkers. Yeah, they have to fight a dragon champion who got who kicked their butt last time. But No, it's not reasonable. That's the it's not, because there's no way out of the cave. The party guards the cave, there's nowhere else. Ah, put more traps. That's something we could do. Yeah. No one voted in the poll. Horik just wrote it in chat. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. That's what I'm kind of like debating, right? Is... Are they better, they're better prepared if they do? What I might do, here's something we can do. What do you think about this? Is because they fought near these kobolds, this encounter happens like over here. And they set an ambush for when they know they're going to come back. Uh, it's harder than yes or no. Yeah, that's true. What do you think of that idea? Yes, they can take a long rest, but they get ambushed unless they make a ridiculous save when they come back. Sounds good, says Lux. I like that idea. Like, it's been a hard day's fight. And they, they withdraw to, to recover. Um... It has been a long day. Add an extra encounter or something like that. Long day. And they retreat to the cave entrance to recover and rest. Um, they keep watch at night, but um, this gives time for the remaining to mount a proper defense. An additional encounter by the exit, something like that. So Rex, Boris, Mara, Catherine, something like that. I think he's moving one. Yeah, I would like to just move this kobold encounter. Six kobolds and six wing kobolds to this place. Now, there's no way to get in. That's the thing. It would break. The story says this is like... They're basically like in an... There's no retreat from this. The cultists are trying to hold off with a few people and... Bury some of the eggs. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Let's. What do they do with the eggs? Maybe the eggs are harder to find or something. Three eggs. Uh, they're not hatched yet, but they will soon. To move them when the cap the camp left. She left them under the care of Monad and the kobolds, and the chamber is dark. So they leave their dark potion portion of the room. Shapes of large eggs. They're they're huge. Each egg is three feet tall. You can't hide that. Uh, so this is what the, sometimes these modules don't do a good job at this at all. Um, what about the overall episode three? It just turns into a dungeon crawl. There's nothing special about it. Just go in there, it's a dungeon crawl, the enemies don't leave, they don't do anything. I don't know, is it to smash the eggs? The goal from our story... ...is to simply... Go in, find out what's going on. They find the camp abandoned, and they decide to go into the cave to investigate. So the party doesn't have to go in here at all, technically. Um, but I don't think the goal is to smash the eggs. Beat the odds and greenness and won the fight. They're paraphrase and reflect. Shrine, they check traps, treasures. 
Cause an apparent black dragon eggs encounter. Guard drakes and a roper. Eggs are le okay. Total of three eggs are spread out throughout the area. Each is about three feet tall and 150 pounds. Two of them are easily easy to spot just by walking the room. A third is tucked into a pillar in a similar colored stone. Uh, blah, blah. If the eggs are left here, they hatch in less than a week. If they are taken away, they whether they hatch depends on how they are stored and treated. The dragons can be killed easily if the eggs are smashed, crushed, or stabbed. If an egg is simply cracked open, an infant dragon struggles for breath, cries, squirms like a human baby for a few minutes, then dies. Pretend the eggs are hiding. 